In addition to your surgical procedure, your doctor may wish to remove and examine lymph nodes. This is to determine whether the cancer has spread and to what extent. Your doctor will use one of two procedures for this, either a sentinel lymph node biopsy or an axillary node dissection. Let's discuss both methods. While it is not easily controlled, the spread of cancer is sometimes predictable. The cancer cells spread through a customary path out from the tumor and into the surrounding lymph nodes before they progress throughout the body. A sentinel lymph node biopsy is a procedure to remove the lymph nodes closest to the tumor because this is where the cancer cells have most likely spread. First, the surgeon will want to identify the sentinel lymph node, the lymph node or nodes closest to the tumor. To be able to identify the sentinel lymph node, the surgeon will inject dye or radioactive substances into the tissue near the tumor. The lymph nodes that are the most susceptible to the cancer spread will be marked by the dye or radioactive substance. During surgery, the lymph nodes will be removed and checked for the presence of cancer cells. Another method for determining if the cancer has spread to your lymph nodes is by an axillary node dissection. Axillary node dissection is a procedure that removes some of the axillary lymph nodes, which are the lymph nodes located in the armpit. A mastectomy or lumpectomy operation will most often include either a sentinel lymph node biopsy or an axillary node dissection. Both procedures involve a separate incision for lumpectomy patients. Following surgery, the pathologist will test the lymph nodes to determine whether the cancer has spread past the breast. Removing these lymph nodes raises your risk for developing lymphedema, a condition that usually causes abnormal swelling of the arms, but can also affect the breast, chest, and legs. After lymph node surgery, if you experience unusual and painful swelling, you should immediately notify your doctor. Although there is no cure for lymphedema, the swelling is usually temporary, lasting only 6 to 12 weeks. With proper health care, good nutrition, and exercise, it may be possible for you to reduce the effects of lymphedema.